hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and in today's video i'm going to be doing my hair so since my last video my hair has been breaking more but it's not like a lot like how it was before when i explained to you guys i'm not getting like big chunks but every time i brush it i'm just getting a little bit i'm thinking that maybe putting it into a protective hairstyle that might also help with the breaking so i'm going to be doing the french curl braids i've always wanted to do these braids but like i never find the color that i want or it's always like sold out so like enough i found it and i'm going to be using the darling loose darling loose braids yeah and I got mine from Cosmetic Connection. That's where I get like almost all my hair stuff from is how they look. This is the color number one and 30. So it has a 30 mostly like down here, but also throughout. It looks really, really pretty. And one comes with two, four, with six bundles. So I got two because on their website, they recommend two packs per head. So I got two of them. I have the other one here, same color. So I'm going to do like knotless braids and I'm going to start at the back and then I'll come and do the front with you guys. So just a quick update. I'm done with the back and this is how it's looking. And it was way harder to do this time because my hair broke a lot like at the back from the crown going back. So it was like short strength so it was a little bit hard to do not less but i managed to do it and this is how they are looking so i'm gonna go ahead and do one section and then i'll come and do one section with you guys so i am back now and i'm almost done with my braids i'm left with um i think eight yeah like two lines of four so i did this side as well So this is how they are looking and this side and I am using my molding gel wax this one is by styling dreads so I'm using this one to kind of like keep my parting clean and also because I have like this breakage on my hair so this is also helping with like the little small pieces that I can't really like blend properly So I'm doing knotless braids and I like to fit in three pieces. I don't like to fit in more than three so that when I then continue to braid, they are like equal size for all the braids. I don't have to separate for each strand to match. And then I'm going to take my portion here that I'm going to braid on and separate it into three. Like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and start braiding with just my hair. And if you have thick hair, you might want to continue braiding with your hair. But I like to add um, braiding hair as soon as possible because my hair is thin. So just adding one piece there and just continue to braid so i just keep feeding in the same way that i would feed in like um feed in braids so i just feed and here goes the last piece so feed it there like so and as you can see all my strands are equal i don't have to go back and try to match them they are perfectly equal and what i do is just continue to braid until my desired length so i am leaving the ends but i'm leaving a little bit like th a quarter of the hair so it's definitely up to you on how long do you want your curls to be showing 
um and how long do you want your braids to be showing so i'm leaving about this much of the ends um unbraided and i just take one piece from one braid and then i tie it around after tying it like this i realized that they were actually unraveling so what i'm doing is i'm adding just a drop of glue so this is nail glue but like super glue or whatever glue you have at home you can use so i'm just taking like a a drop not a lot just to put it right on the tie there and when i let it go it doesn't unravel i have three equal pieces so i'm just gonna go ahead and start braiding my hair so one two three and then take a piece of braiding hair so i like to fit in as soon as possible because my hair is thin like that and then take another piece fit it in and then take the last piece fit it in and my strands are equal so i just continue to braid until i get to my desired length So when I've braided about three quarters of the hair and this is how much is left, I'm going to take a small piece from one of the three like this and just tie around the whole entire braid. I'm going to go ahead and take just a drop of glue and put it right on the tie. And this is going to prevent it from unraveling.
and now i'm gonna take my mousse this is the ors wrap set mousse and i'm going to apply on top this is going to help with like all the little flyaways and just get everything to lay smoothly I'm also adding some on the edges here just so that I can like shape them nicely and I'm just taking my little edge brush And taking a silk scarf I'm just gonna tie everything down so while this is drying I'm gonna work on the bottom so I'm just gonna like finger comb them and then going back with my mousse I'm just gonna do like a few pumps and just run it through and then after like running my fingers through it i'm just gonna like scrunch it up a little bit So this is how they're looking so yeah i'm happy with how they turned out i love how they look i absolutely love the color it's so pretty i love the curls like it reminds me of like nollywood movies as always i love my spacing the edges are popping and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next one bye